Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and in today's video I've got an absolutely incredible wonder kid centre back and a lot of you guys have been asking for a centre back to show you today and you can get him for around and even under sometimes £1 million and he can go on to be one of the best defenders in the world. He starts off at 16 years old. I'm going to go into him in detail in a second. He is German. He does play in the Bundesliga for one of the best German clubs right now, Borussia Dortmund. But obviously this is a YouTube video, so just before we get into showing him and everything, I'd just like to say if you do enjoy the video or if you just want to help the video out, don't forget to hit the like button. If you do that, YouTube pushes these videos out to more people and it helps us out. And usually around half the people watching these videos as well aren't subscribed, so if you want to hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to us. And hit that notification bell too. And if you want to check out my channel, we're getting really close to a thousand subscribers and it would mean a lot if you do go and check that out. Then you can also find a link to that in the description. And as always, I do usually ask you guys to comment who you'd like to see next in this Wonder Kid to Super star series but I want to ask you something else today it's like kind of a quiz question I suppose because this player does play for Borussia Dortmund as I said and it just got me thinking about how many good youngsters they have so I want to ask you if you can name three English youngsters currently playing for Borussia Dortmund one of them is quite obvious and has had like multiple England caps by now and is one of the world's best young prospects and two others are kind of like one's getting well known in real life and another one's kind of a football manager prospect there might be more than three I don't know but off the top of my head I can think of three so do comment down below if you can name some English youngsters playing for Borussia Dortmund that's a little game for you guys and now with that being said let's get straight into the video and start looking at the player. So the player you can find in Borussia Dortmund's under 19s or in the second team depending on where they put him but he was in the under 19s for me and I've already brought him over to Hertha Berlin for this test so let's show him to you now. And here he is, it's Namadi Collins. Now, I know you're looking at him and probably thinking, yeah, that's a decent player, not amazing. He's 16, he hasn't even got five-star potential. Is he going to be that good? I can tell you, I've done six years of this simulation and he turns out to be an absolutely cracking player. But what are you getting when you go and look at him? Are you buying a top-tier player straight away? Are you buying someone that's not very good at the start? Well, I mean, you can look at him here and see that he's got pretty decent attributes. Now, you can get him for around £1 million. We got him for £1.2 million here with Hertha Berlin. You can actually click like approach to sign because he's on a youth contract but for me because I was Hertha Berlin he didn't want to leave Dortmund I don't know whether he's just like so committed to Dortmund that he won't leave or whether it's to do with like reputation of Hertha compared to Dortmund but maybe if you were a bigger club you might be able to pull him in but as soon as we actually asked and like put a transfer fee in instead of trying to approach the sign he was then more than happy to negotiate terms so we got him for around £3,000 a week it's not too much paid about £1 million for him again it's a very good deal I'm not going to say if you're like Mansfield you probably won't want to join you but a team like Hertha I can imagine teams a little bit below as too he might want to join if he's guaranteed football so you don't have to be like the top 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 tier teams to get this guy in your squad. So what does he look like? Well, he's a promising centre-back who likes to bring the ball out of defence, most suited to the ball-playing defender role, with 13 passing, 14 vision and 15 positioning as his best like mental and technical attributes. His determination isn't the best and will need to be worked on, but he is quite brave. He tackles well, he has good technique, decent in the air and decent first touch. He's six foot two, but he does have room to grow in his height. He gets taller in this simulation. And physical-wise, he's really, really good, to be honest. It's probably his best area of physicals. He's basically really quick, and although he's not strong, that will grow eventually. He's naturally fit too, and can jump pretty high, so his height's not going to cause that much of an issue for you. And I actually think the height that he gets to is a very good height for a centre-back. So here he is, like I said, did sign him from Borussia Dortmund. So here is his training. He's on double intensity, just so he develops a lot quicker. He's a ball-playing defender, and we are focusing on his defensive positioning. Although his positioning is really good, his decisions are marking do need a bit of work for a centre back so I want to get that up first he won't actually be able to play any games until halfway through the first season with Hertha Berlin because he is 16 and in the Bundesliga on football manager at least there is a rule that says he can't play until he was 17 I found this out because I did a whole simulation and found that he wasn't playing but he does do well in this one now before you guys all start commenting before we simulate ahead I know a lot of you probably noticed in this, this is the editor, and as I mentioned in my last video, I promise you I didn't use it to change any attributes. All I do is I put his potential to the higher end of his range just to make sure he does grow, and it is a YouTube video of course, we don't want to simulate 10 years and he doesn't do anything. And if you didn't know, all Wonder Kids have a potential within a range, let's say 140 to 170, with 200 being the highest any player could ever get to in the game. So to be fair, if a player does get like 140, they're still a very good player, but we're putting them on the higher end of their range, and I'm not going to tell you this guy's range because I know a lot of you guys won't want it spoiled. I'll mention it at the end of the video, just in case, but I'll do, do like a little warning before it. But yes, we put his potential range to the higher end of it, not even the highest, so this won't be him at his full peak but it should at least show us some good development. Now, one final thing before we move on, his mentoring. He's being mentored by Santiago Escobar. Escobar, I don't really know how you pronounce it, the Argentinian. He's only 23, 
but he has an average effect on the Maddie Collins with 18 determination and a driven personality. And we also brought in Mario Mandzukic on a free just to mentor him in the determination area. I know a lot of people have told me that Mandzukic isn't a good influence on a young player, but I can tell you that he doesn't have any real negative effects on the Maddie Collins in this save. But I'm now going to simulate three seasons ahead into this guy's career. He'll be about 2019-ish playing for Hertha Berlin. And we're just going to see how he got on in his career at Hertha Berlin. So let's go and do that. Okay, so I did lie to you guys a little bit. It was actually two years, not three years. I forgot. So he's done two years at Hertha Berlin. He does actually do another year after this, and then I move him into a different league. But let's have a look at how he's done after two years. Well, we can see that in his first two seasons, after he did eventually turn 17 and available for play, he has played pretty much every game for Hertha Berlin, as we have instructed him. And he's done pretty well. Hertha Berlin haven't been doing amazing in this time, but he's been getting 6.8, 6.9 kind of ratings. Let's say in between the two of these, 6.9 on average. I think that's pretty good. One more and he's doing a seven average, which is perfect for a centre-back, really. And for a player that young playing in the Bundesliga, I think he's done really well for himself. He's played 31 times this season, scoring five goals and getting two player for match awards. So he's definitely working his way up and playing better for Hertha. He has also increased his value. So if we were to sell him, we'd probably get at least £10 million for him only two years in. So you're going to get your money back, even if he doesn't like have the highest potential range. He's still going to do well for you and earn your money back. Now, physically, we can see he's grown to six foot three, which I believe is as tall as he gets in this save. But I still think that's pretty good. If we go and have a look at his development and then go to progress, attributes, all time so far since playing for us at Hertha, we can see he is growing really rapidly. He's grown in the physical area nicely with strength and stamina going up. And his jumping reach has also gone to 17, making him a huge aerial threat. We can see physically he's an absolute beast. I have dark blue attributes to signify if a player has 16 or above just to show me like they are top top tier. And we can see physically this guy's nearly completing the whole job of them. He's got half of them here as dark blues and I think basically he's probably one of the quickest players in the world and he's a centre-back which helps a lot. Vision is really good for a centre-back too and his positioning is also at a very high level. His decisions are getting better at 13, that's what we were training him on and his anticipation is now at 9. His marking has gone up to 10 which is good because that was a real like flaw in his game before so I'm glad that that's developing. His heading has now gone up to 14 too and his free kick taking and dribbling have gone up. Not anything important but it's still pretty cool. Interestingly this guy can apparently play in the attacking midfield central role so something about him must mean he's a good playmaker and it's obviously that vision that technique and that passing being a very high level which for a center back is going to contribute to especially if you're playing a ball playing defender which i know a lot of people who like to play progressive football will use I think it's really, really good. So I won't mess around too much. We can see he's got a bit of an extra contract. I'm going to simulate now to the end of his third season where he does leave Hertha for the Premier League and he goes on to join Chelsea. So here is Collins now. He's had a third season playing for Hertha Berlin and then we've moved him over to Chelsea, but he hasn't actually started there yet. He's literally just moved from Berlin after an extra season where he got a 6.98 average rating. So he's just increased it slightly from the 6.97, still got four goals, so doing really well as an aerial threat. How have his attributes developed? Well, off the top of my head, I think his positioning and vision have both gone up now to 18. His technique is now at 15. Heading at 14 might be a bit higher than we last saw it. I can't remember too well. His physicals are still very high. This guy's still got plenty of room to grow, by the way. Don't think this is all you're getting. He absolutely shoots up when he joins Chelsea. His mental attributes are pretty good. His determination's only gone up by one, which is a bit annoying, but I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm kind of liking his aggression, bravery, composure, and decisions hopefully won't let him down. He looks like a very strong player with some great technical attributes too. And you can see his value has increased massively now that he's joined Chelsea. We moved him over for around 20 million pounds. And I think he's going to be successful for Chelsea. He's going to come in, play every game for them in the Premier League in a much harder league now, of course, than the Bundesliga. No offence to the Bundesliga, I still think it's a great league, but with this team, he's going to be playing for a top club, playing European football too. So he's going to be playing at the highest levels now against some of the best clubs. We can see his star rating, I think, has decreased since we last saw it. That's just because, if you don't know, star rating is relevant to the players that they're playing with. And obviously, Chelsea have a lot more high-quality players than her for Berlin do. So he's going to spend his career here. We're going to simulate another three-ish years. So he's had six seasons of growth. He'll be around 22 so how is his career going to go? We're going to find out and we're going to simulate a few years ahead. Now, I know I have mentioned this in the video already, but I know a lot of people have probably fast forwarded through the start and that stuff. But if you really do want to watch me manage Chelsea and do a Chelsea save, or you just want to see what I look like, it would honestly mean the world if you just go into the description and check out my channel because we're getting really close to a thousand now. It's been my goal for a long time. So if you want to help me get there and hopefully enjoy the content too, then that would mean a lot. And I also have a football manager Twitter that you guys can follow if you want to. I'm not using it too much yet, but I will do at some point.
So yeah, no more plugs in this video. Let's move on now. Another three seasons and see how Nomadi Collins gets on in his career. And I can tell you, he does absolutely insane, guys. So here we are with Chelsea. It seems like some other wonder kid has taken over around here. Francisco Concha. Don't know how you pronounce that, Concha Shao, I don't, I don't really know, but he looks like a good player. But we can see Nomadi Collins is here with 97% pass completion, so he's at least doing something well in that ball-playing defender role. And Chelsea have won the league, so that's really good to see. We're going to go check out Nomadi Collins now, not just his attributes, but also like how he's done milestones-wise. Has he won things? Has he won individual awards too? We're going to look at all of that, but here is Nomadi Collins playing for Chelsea. And I'd love a player like this for us in real life. We're struggling at centre-back at the minute with the likes of Rudiger starting games, but this guy would walk straight into our team. Team. let's have a look at him physically an absolute beast we joked about him almost covering all of the blues in the physical area and he's actually almost getting there i mean stamina's at 15 in a few years that'll probably go up and we'll have six of the eight attributes as dark blue attributes now i think his pace acceleration jumping reach natural fitness they're the ones we might have seen before i think his agility is higher than we've ever seen it but i mean what an incredible player this is 17 pace 18 acceleration 16 agility 18 jumping reach with 16 heading this guy is going to absolutely dominate at the back like pace wise no one's getting past him he's going to jump past everyone in the air and score some great headed goals too i haven't had a look at it yet but i can imagine he did score a lot of goals mentally his bravery is at a very high level and everything else is at a good level too nothing you're really going to complain about his positioning is now at 18 and his vision is probably better than most midfielders or attackers in the world he's got 19 vision with 16 technique and 15 passing Definitely the best ball playing defender in this save, surely he is, with 16 heading as well, 14 tackling, 14 marking, 14 first touch. Nomadi Collins is an absolute beast and I don't think anyone can deny it. Only 22 years old too here and I have mentioned that his potential isn't even at his highest here so he can actually get better than this. £120,000 a week, valued at £65 million, bear in mind we could get him for under £1 million at the start or maybe even approach to sign him if you're a bigger club than Hertha, I don't really know how that's going to come off you guys. But either way, a million pounds for this guy is not a bad deal. Before we go and have a look at how he's done in his seasons, let's quickly just have a look at his progress, see how he's got on attributes all time at Chelsea. We can see that he's continued his growth in the physical areas, in the mental areas, in the technical areas too. Nothing specifically, like there's no like plus five increase anywhere. But he's just been improving his game. He's kept going and he's just developed into a top level player. Now, if we look at his career stats, we can see that in his first season for Chelsea, he did well defensively. Didn't get as many goals, but since then, he's been chipping with five or six goals a season pretty much consistently since he was, what, like 18? So an absolute star player here, getting a 7.3 match rating across all competitions for Chelsea here. An absolute star for them. I don't think I've ever seen a player perform this well in the centre-back role. We can also see that he didn't just score six league goals. He actually got three goals in the Cup, four goals in European football too. 7.3 average match rating is absolutely insane. I'm surprised he hasn't got more assists with his playmaking features, but again, it's football manager. We're not managing. It's been sent to the assistant manager while we're holidaying. He could probably do way better than this, but we can see what an absolute star he has become. And remember, he's only 22 years old as well here, guys. He's going to play for Chelsea another 10 years at least, racking up 40, 50 games a season, whatever it is here, 50 overall, 60 overall, 60 overall again there, racking up tons of games, tons of goals, tons of assists, and he's definitely going to be classed as like one of the best centre-backs the world has ever seen by the end of his career. I don't really want to simulate 20 years on my computer, it's, I have to use it for uni work, so we're not going to simulate that far ahead, but, but we can see the trajectory that his career is going on. If we look at his biography, it's full of stuff, so we know that he did very well. We're going to start with competitions and see that with Hertha Berlin, Came runners up in a few things, ended up winning the DFB Pokal and the German Super Cup with Chelsea. In his first season, he won the Carabao Cup and came runners up in the Champions League. He then went on to win the Club World Cup Championship, the Community Shield, the FA Cup, the Premier League, the Carabao Cup, the Premier League, and he's now a Champions League winner in this last season where he was really performing at his peak, so he probably helped a lot in getting Chelsea to that Champions League title. Let's have a look at some individual awards that this guy picked up. He was often named like here you go, newcomer of the year, runner-up. So seen as one of the best young players in the Bundesliga, coming third in the Next Gen Award. We can see he was doing pretty well, but then his career shot up when he joined Chelsea. We can see he was named in the Champions League Dream Team in only 2024, when he would have been, what, like 19, 20 at that point. Named the European Golden Boy there too. Where is it? In this year, 2024. Bear in mind, it is 2026 now, so he was only 20 when he won that. Then in 2025, he was winning Young Player of the Month, named in the Team of the Year in the Premier League. So one of the Premier League's best defenders, named in the Club World Cup Championship Dream Team, named under 21 Footballer of the Year, winning that against the likes of Yusuf Demir, Marcus Leonardo, Mason Greenwood and Haaland, De Litt and Mbappe up there with some top, top names. And again, he was named in the Premier League Team of the Year here. Interestingly, should we actually check? I don't know if he is. But if we go to season preview, he isn't actually classed as one of the best centre-backs in the league. Apparently Diaz and Laporte are better than him. 
probably just because of their mental attributes. But I think Nomadi Collins, considering he's still 22, he's definitely going to be a part of this going forward. And if we actually have a look, the best player in the league from Chelsea is Nomadi Collins and Mason Mount. So he's one of the better players in the Premier League and definitely one of the best defenders in the world. How can you not like what we've seen here with this guy? Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Is he one of the best young defenders you've ever seen? Have you got a player that's done this kind of thing? Obviously, there are regens who can probably do this, but in terms of like wonder kids you can buy, especially for only a million pounds that are like there at the start of the game that everyone can get access to, I think this is insane. As I have said, this is him at the higher end of his range, but if you were to sign him, because I'm going to reveal it now, his potential range is between, and skip this part if you don't want to hear it, 140 and 170. I've put it just above 165 here, so it's not at the max, but it's pretty high up. If you were to load up a save and he only had like 150 potential, that's basically the ability rating he had when he was like 19, 20, when he was still a really, really good player and being named in like the Premier League team of the year. So for a million pounds, even if he's only like a starter player for your lower league Premier League team in a couple of years, it's still worth it for a million pounds, no? And with the chance of him being this good, You've got to go for it. I mean, like I say, no one's getting past him. In my Chelsea save, I have Tamori, and he has a similar job where he might not be the best defensively, but he's just so quick that no one gets past him anyway. So I think Nomadi Collins is an absolute star, someone I'm going to try and sign in pretty much every save I do now. I hope he does go on to be a world-class player in the future because i just love to see in real life a centre-back that just had that much pace. You'd never see anyone get by him. It would be amazing to watch, and with this amount of playmaking ability too, that could actually get to 20 vision in a few years. Can you actually imagine that? 20 vision for a centre pack, that would be insane. But yeah, I think that would be the end of today's video. Let me know what you did think of him in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did enjoy it, and check out my channel if you want to see me manage Chelsea in real time. So if you want to do that, then feel free. But I thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.